just about ready now for the start. And in the circumstances, a fair-sized crowd in the ground. So getting ready for the start, Steve Bucknor advises uh, Zahir that he's ready, calls play, and here we go again. Bowling first ball, first ball of the match. Janasaria drags it back into his stumps. What a sensational start. The Sri Lankan captain is out to the first ball of the match, and Indian flags are waving in joy. Certainly a huge blow for India. And there was Al Khan getting that ball to come back on Jayasuri. Jayasuri playing way in front of him. And that inside edge with that angular bat seeing that uh, off stump knocked off. And that's a big blow. Sanat Jayasuri out to no score. Not for one. So Marvin Atupatu will effectively have to open the batting after all. Just drop down to number three in the order from his usual opening position. Unusual feeling for Jayasuriya, but not unique. Nice shot, beautifully played off the legs. Away it goes for four. Just drifting onto uh, Sangakara's pads, and Sangakara having no problem in dispatching that away. It's the right area, and uh, he whips it away. Side for four. A rather juicy half volley by Agarna. Not much pace in it. And, uh, just in the area that uh, Marvanath Patu reveals and uh, likes to hit. Just in the right spot and he follows it through with that top hand in control. So, uh, Sri Lankans uh, being presented with an easy boundary here. Slow it up. It's a virtual gift um, to slow ball, at least as uh, Tony did mention, uh, going all wrong. But um, the one really has to have the presence of mind to put it away. And uh, Sangakara did well, waited on it and uh, hit it over the infield, ensuring that uh, he didn't hit it to any of the fielders. And uh, taken. Good catch. Just waited to see whether it carried. In fact, it did. And a swooping catch by Dinesh Mongia, who had dropped one early. In fact, dropped Sangakara with his first delivery of Zahi at the opposite end of second slip. Now swoops to take this one off Agarka, and Adupatu is gone. So good catch by Dinesh Mongia. Low down to his uh, right. That's not his best side, he is a left-hander, but he held it expertly. And jubilation for the Indians, as uh, Sri Lanka in more trouble here. They're 24 for two. When Aravinda da Silva strode to the wicket yesterday, he thought it was the last time he'd strike to the wicket for Sri Lanka on home soil. Of course, uh, that changed overnight with the rain. He strides to the wicket now to take the place of Atutatu with uh, Sri Lanka in trouble. Crashing drive off the front foot. That's typical De Silva. Struck on the up. We'll be looking for gaps of in the De Silva for sure. And that has brought a smile out there. Driving on the rise and finding the gap. Expertly played by an expert batsman. That's a glorious shot. That's not all that short. But he's picked up the lens so quickly. A 
An excellent shot from Arvinda De Silva. Stayed very still. And as Ravi Shastri was mentioning, pick, picked up the length so quickly. Knew exactly where he had to put that one. Away from that square leg fielder. And Ajit Agurka. Another one. He's picked up the slow delivery nicely. And the fourth boundary of the over for De Silva. He's coming back to that semi-final. Zero for two. He came out and played a magnificent innings. But 66 in... Uh, in very quick time, put Sri Lanka back on track, and he's looking to do exactly that in this innings. Slow one, not finding the right length once again. Ajit Agurka struggling here. This is magnificent batting. What a counter attack! The floodgates have opened. 23 runs of the over. The 50 comes up for Sri Lanka. 51 for two. shot and it was intentional another boundary to De Silva watch how he opens the face of the blade here to hit the ball into the gap well an extraordinary shot considering that it was played against the off spin of Rabajan Singh normally you associate this inside out shot going towards cover but he played it very square a lot of wrist work involved into that drive Neil Kumbler was a fielder, desperate effort. That's put away in style. Good use of his feet, took the ball on the full, and he bangs it down the ground. Yes, a lovely drive. Little trigger movement from Kumar Sangakara indicating that he'd come down the track and uh, met the ball on the full, and found the gap. That's up in the air. A chance here for Kev. He's taken it. Kumble is struck. And a real promising innings from Arvinda De Silva has come to an end. Just a rush of blood. And that's done the trick for the Indians. And Arvinda De Silva will be disappointed because he was going uh, brilliantly well out there. Not a great deal of spin on that one. A wrong shot, shot selection. Could have easily played it a little straighter, but went right across the line of that one. Mohammad Kaf really had to wait for a long time for that ball to lob into his safe hands. Gone, Arvinda De Silva for 27, 63 for three, Sri Lanka. Three for three, Mahila Jayawardena comes out to the middle. 118 matches. Uh, it's got six hundreds. He'd like to improve that average of his. He's a much better player than that average suggests. Swanil Kumble proving his worth. Uh, getting the wicket of De Silva. His 299th in one day internationals. Oh, trouble here. Awful trouble. Simple run out. Joe Wardener has had an absolute nightmare there. He's called Sangakara through for a single. Sangakara is set off. And then as Sangakara gets probably more than halfway down, Joe Wardener says no. I can't think what Joe Wardener was up to here. He sits off immediately, so does Sangakara. Responded to his batsman, to his partner's call, and then got sent back. Now that deserves... A dark look, and he gave Jaa Warden a one. And if they had have set off straight away, I'm fairly sure there was a single in it. But when you get called, yes, 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 and you get halfway, no, followed by sorry. Sri Lanka 71 for four. Russell Arnold's the new batsman at the non strikers end. <laughs> Water. Just uh, a little bit of stock on that as well. There's Russell Arnold, another left-hander coming in to replace Sangakara, who's been uh, sacrificed really by Joe Wardener in a schoolboy era. No, no, 
No barge, no, says uh, Raoul Dravic. The arm ball, faster, flatter, and picked and flicked away by Arnold. There are uh, three. With you, I don't ever feel. Didn't need to do that. I could feel slow in summer. Play with me like cats and swans. You know, Scott that away. That'll reach the boundary. You know, Lendy over to you. 93 for four. You with the evil Got me coming back more, even when I'm in school. Dolls full of pins. Here's my heart straight. Three of the over. 100 for four. I got issues in my head. I like you in the bed, but you keep me on red. This is a fine shot. Can I let you work? They can strike the ball. They are dead. What's very simple. So, waiting to work. We got the link early. Very sensible. Great work. Thank you very much for getting on this back. Just a little shot. Ball is not coming back for his second spell. There's a lot of noise and sleep from the Olympic supporters that burn them down because they're probably also definitely going back to it here. Yeah. Swept away, couldn't beat the fielder and beat back with the leg. Hey guys, I feel like when I'm in the middle of the field, I feel like I'm in the middle of the field. I'm a desperate guy, I feel like I'm a long chase around from that position. I can hear gaslight and confusing. Was it not Arthur coming around? Desperate dive, just not being able to make the interception. Even though I offer all this, it's nicely played by Mahela Jaywood. Now she's loving like I love you. It's still there, but I'm along the pool in the wrong line and uh, I wish I wasn't struck. Very committed out there, the boundary. I wish we never saw it. I know this. I'm doing the best. Can't breathe. It's sluggish. Warlock really coming on to the bat. Spinners really doing the real damage. That's gone. We've had to clear mid-on. A common chance, but we'll not be able to stop it. Really an effort. He always gives us 100% out there, Mohamed Gaff. So Mayela J. Wurdnick taking a little bit of chance here, but the shot was on. Because mid-on is up in the circle, going with the spin. Very quick across the ground, Mohamed Gaff. Been a feature of the Indian play there. Fielding, infield and outfield's been outstanding. It's added to the pressure. So that's 50 for Mahila Jaiwagana. He's concentrated hard in this innings. He's not in great touch. It's uh, been an innings of concentration rather than free flowing strokes but he's uh, let's tell his head he knows he has to be there at the end if they want to get this score up to around the 220-230 mark that's a good over just two runs of it 40 gone 152 for four Sri Lanka Well, the uh, script of doing a job perhaps the umpire should be doing. I think he's suggesting Russell Arnold may have been running on the wicket. Not too much to do with you, Sarov. And he's only succeeded in bringing the crowd into the game. Some heated words being exchanged there between Sarov Ganguly and Russell Arnold. It has to do with running on the wicket. Ganguly knows Sri Lanka have got plenty of spinners. And it started with the two players uh, having some words exchanged and the umpires got involved. And this is uh, when it happened, straight down the centre. Ganguly having a chat and umpire Shepard getting in the middle in the edge just put down he got his hands to it Tendulkar 
took a brilliant return catch yesterday. In fact, to dismiss Jayawardena. And on this occasion, it goes down. One five five for four. Nearly a repeat. It really has been Groundhog Day here, and this was almost an identical dismissal for yesterday. Only that time, Tenduka was full stretch away to his left. Excellent over those, just three off it, plus that drop catch, and there it is, full stretch of left, going a bit harder. It's a good shot, once again two for Jay Wagner. So scoring red chest, beginning to pick up. Yes, yeah, so and decide to go into the next gear. Hey man, Running harder, using speed, this time, Jay Wagner is using speed. Has played this match for Chris for this entire match. It's been his detriment. This time, then he gets Good stop. Let's take another look. Just got the feeling my initial reaction was that I just crossed the line. Yes, I'm just hitting the rope. Just hitting the rope. So boundary will be signaled. They've signaled a six already. Just checking. And a bar button at signal six. <laughs> I'm not sure what signal that is. That's, I know what signal that is. That's which tracked him my last signal, changes his mind and gives it four. Well, sitting up here in the commentary box, I had a good look at that and I thought it was six. And it's just bounced mightily inside the boundary. So they take two off that. That stayed away and won't go very far. Straight to the captain, Ganguly. And that's uh, the end of Joe Wardener. He's played very, very well. 77 he's made from uh, 99 deliveries. And he's made amends for uh, running his previous partner out. 
Looked a tight shot from Mahela Jayawardene, making room, trying to uh, get it over cover. Couldn't middle it. Sarav Gangli taking it quite easily in the end. Gone for 77, very good innings. 189 for five. Little Chandana comes in at number seven for Sri Lanka. Replacing Mahela Jayawardene. Strike rate's OK. A couple of 50s in uh, his 102 matches. It's well bowled. Just been uh, impressed by uh, Zahir Khan through the summer in England and through this tournament. It's uh, swirling away and out. Great catch from Kaif, running in from short third man and diving full length to get rid of Chandana, who was going for broke. Well, this was beautifully read by Mohammad Kaif, not by Upul Channa, the straighter one from uh, Bhajan Singh. The off spinner picking up his third wicket. As it went in the air, Mohammad Kaif was looking to come and uh, challenge that ball, paused for a while before he dived. Got it completely under control. Fantastic feeling. Gone for one. 193 for six, Sri Lanka. Here comes Jaminda Vas. 28 years of age now. Three overs and two balls to go. Good strike rate again. That's what you need to look at uh, for these lower end uh, batsmen. Look at their strike rate. Don't bother about the average. They don't have enough time to play innings. away for a single and again oh that's uh, unlucky for the bowler and it's uh, one of the vagaries of one day cricket as a an opening bowler you do everything right puts the ball right up there in the block hole inside edge goes for four that boundary also brings up the 200 of the Sri Lankan innings a real bonus for Chaminda Vas once again drawing away from the line of the ball to give him some room inside edge and netting him a boundary here launched away over mid wicket that ball stood up to be hit and got the full treatment from Chaminda Vas some nice blows here by Chaminda Vas has hit two boundaries they're in the saver, probably thinking that the batsman would come down the track. Flat but short, and Chaminda Vas has stayed in his crease over mid-wicket. It's gone again, same area. This time Yovraj gets around to do the fielding. This is what the crowd have waited for, the crowd that has built up steadily since the start. They're in full voice now. And on their feet as well. To hide, and every game is a lie. You'll find that out in some time. But when the things on your mind are rocked, consider the crimes. The mutilation aside, we'll all just fight till we die. Is this an argument or just a start of day? Either way, I don't want to be a part of it. Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing my mess. Is this an argument or just a start of day? I want to drive away so I can be so far from there. I want to find a place where no one breaks their promises so Or maybe drive myself to something over. that is brought up less Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small 
Way back, let's go. I know I'm sleeping bad, but that could be much worse. There's always someone else who has a greater curse, a greater thirst, a hunger, pain, and mercy. Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first. I wanna feel again. I need a couple friends. I never really understood the yeah. story jazz, but I could feel his dance. Don't the know the consequences, the volatility of like my only like couple chances. Is this an argument or just the start of it? Either way, I don't want to be a part of it. Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this. Is this an argument or just the start of it? I want to drive away so I can be so far from it. I want to find a place and no one breaks the promises. Or maybe drive myself to something that's bottomless. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we were together. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back to when we played with cricketing songs. Take me back to a place where we felt at home. Take me back to a day when we were together. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. The more Wait, energetic numbers, uh, 9, 10 or 11. Morally, Russell Arnold's on strike though, 49 not out. But he's 50 now. Coming back for two. Well, I think Dravich missed the stumps there first time. He knows it as well. In every game, that Dravid plays and keeps wicket, he makes an error. And sometime it's going to be so costly. But Arnold's gone through to, to a very well made 50. It couldn't have been a better return. Missed it completely. That you normally don't see. This is probably the first in cricket. Wasn't looking at the stumps, probably looking at the running of the batsman looking at the batsman's bat two balls left Sachin Tendulkar was the fielder lovely return Incredible miss. There you see, uh, thinking that it hit the stumps anyway, looking uh, not at the stumps. Miss them. Picked up over mid wicket for four. That is a good shot. The low full toss is never a desperately bad delivery at uh, this stage of the innings, but Arnold has picked that up quite beautifully. This is a very good innings from Russell Arnold. He's paced this innings really well. He had to really stay with Mela Jayawardene to construct this innings. And now, strong finish from the left-hander. Lovely swing of the bat, getting a boundary over. Mid-wicket has been tough going for Russell Arnold, normally uh, more renowned for his lusty big hitting. Just three fours so far. Last ball of the innings coming up. Low full toss again, and it's only a single. So Murali uh, doesn't actually uh, base a ball. And uh, Sri Lanka finished their 50 overs on 222 for seven. Sri Lanka 222 for seven, not the biggest target, but difficult conditions. And a well crafted 77 for Mahela Joe Wardner after Sanj Jasarit failed. First ball trapped by Zaire Khan. And Russell Arnold chipping in with a very nicely played 56. Runs from Jaminda Vaz as well. And these are the figures I have come. Nine overs, three for 44. What a spearhead he is for India. And uh, Ajit Agarka going a little expensively. One for 36 and five. Anil Kumble back to his best. One for 41. Harbhajan, one for 34. So the two spinners, 20 overs with just 75 runs between them. Sachin Tendulkar, none for 36. And Virinda Sehwag, none for eight. At uh, number 31 in his eight overs. 25 overs a minimum for this innings to constitute a match. If the rain does come, 
and it comes and the match is abandoned before 25 overs we have no match in that situation there will be no replay of the final this is it and in fact if the weather does intervene as it did last evening before 25 overs can be complete the trophy will be shared and the prize money as well 300,000 US dollars to the winner. We'll keep our fingers crossed and hope that that does not eventuate and that we do have a full innings. 223 to win. The lightning has uh, been around the ground. It's turned aside. We can hear the thunder. The breeze still pushing the clouds away inland at the moment, so that's a good sign. The difference here is that during daytime, you can see how the weather is uh, overhead. You can tell how close the rain is, and therefore you can adjust your scoring to suit. Now, in the darkness, there's no way of telling how near the clouds are, how threatening they are. So I suppose the Indians will just have to bat as normal. Although a couple of... Uh, rolls of thunder in the background should be a clue that uh, the weather is uh, threatening at the moment. Cut away and Sewak starts with a boundary, second delivery, hasn't wasted much time. Nothing unusual in this. It into the ground and it goes over Gully Ted. He does score a lot of early runs through there, uses the bounce of the new ball. And they do make a slight adjustment to the field. Really. And back and forth, right on the edge of the circle. So you're still uh, thinking about it, and there's an injury down there too, I think. Yeah, in fact, uh, third man just. Uh, holding top of the left groin it looks like there and that's mirror either. well that's uh, something that will worry the Sri Lankans he's coming now to the gutty position the key off spinner but he's not too happy with that uh, muscle of his Well, he had a chase, this is uh, on screen, the chase around the third bear bearing. Gave it up early and grabbed that board. Now, he had that problem in England early in the series. And missed some early games there. That uh, was certainly a left groin problem he had then. Could be a reoccurrence. Usually it's a very happy face. It's a very expressive fa face, but uh, there's a worry on it now. Aggression. Good bouncer. Throughout this tournament, Seawag has been tested by the short one. Plays it well defensively, drops the hand, so no, chain, uh, no danger of going through to keep or slip. Occasionally he will play the hook or the pull. Just banging it in short. Six without loss. Well, there is a very worrying sight for Sri Lankan eyes. Guitar Marathon, their strike bowler, their high class off spinner, having tweaked a groin muscle in the field in the second over of the innings, is leaving the field. Mongia as the opening batsman has failed. India lose their first wicket for six. Chamindavas strikes. 
We've talked about the short stuff to Saywag. Well, they've tried it with Mongia. Only got up about hip height, but he was slow on it. Late getting there. And Chamindavar strikes. The short ball being the victor once again. He's very happy. They're all very happy. Six for one. Now, here's a change as well. Sachin Tendulkar comes at number three. Saro Ganguly was advertised in the position, but India using their finest batsman, highest run scorer in one day internationals, playing his 300th one day international tonight and comes in with India six for one, needing 223 to become the ICC trophy champions for 2002. Well, they're playing the trump cards early. And Gulli has uh, drifted down from one, two, or three. Ball is the earliest we'll see him. And they've sent the main man out. Very close indeed. Umpire Steve Butler has a close and look and says not out. That is exceedingly close. No consultation. Not out on his own. Well, we'll get another look here. Steve Buckner doesn't have that advantage. It pitches on the stumps and, well, tell you what, if I'm bowling, I'm extraordinarily disappointed. Is it missing off stump? No, that is out. And no wonder Chamindavas is pleading along with his teammates. That is out. Well, Steve Buckner, you could have referred that one. I'm not sure why he's given that not out. And look what happens to the next ball. It's deposited away down behind the square leg. Now, how significant will that decision be come the end of the match? Indian flags are waving, but their hearts would have been in their mouths for this decision. Well, my first thought, is that missing off stump? And I can't see this missing off. And that's the next ball. That's missing leg. Not missing the rope, though. Well talked about the consultation process in this uh, tournament. Steve Buckner was in doubt about whether it pitched. He should have asked. It certainly pitched in line. And, uh, well, Schmindavass and Tremanka are uh, done by there. He has to get his mind off that, though. That's passed. The worst thing you can do after having a decision turned down is lose your focus. He certainly did with the next ball. Have away a boundary. Get your mind back on the job. Sri Lankans fired up here. End of the over from Chamindavas. Ten for one. Again, a clap of thunder. Adds to the drama here. And not far away from the stumps. Tremendous effort here from the Sri Lankans. Well, Sankakara is going to like just ducking back through the, the gate. Another one. A great seam from uh, Jahara Fernando. That one was he hit the seam and came back. It was blowing the opposite way to the flags are going. The flags have uh, basically died, and now the wind has turned round, which is exactly what happened last night. There's a precursor to the storm. Flicked away for four. Beautiful shot. In control. Vast just fractionally offline. So I think uh, Tommy DeWaz was looking to try and uh, put that little bit extra into that delivery. And as a result of it um, going astray, one needs to be very precise, particularly at this stage. Those Indians are in the lookout most times. It's neatly picked away. Difficult to tell these two apart at times. 
that uh, flick from Saywag identical to Tendall's. 27 for one. More uh, pace from Fernando. Yeah, 20, 25 overs, though, is the key. If uh, we don't get 25 overs bowled in this second innings, then it's no game. Oh, here comes the rain. What a shame. But if there is no result, I think uh, the ICC not, need to look pretty closely and carefully at uh, the way they've organised these rain days. Yes, for the best situation, as you see, the rain pelting down in the background is to get um, in 25 overs. And uh, India would uh, probably, just with one wicket there, need 82 runs in the 25 overs. Sachin Tendulkar has been flashing and missing so often in this innings. Play and a miss from Tendulkar. And that would have been the end of that. As it is, this rain could mean uh, this ICC Champions Trophy competition could end in a bit of a damp squib. It's really a shame after all those preliminary round games uh, going through without uh, a single delivery being affected. I'm going to try and finish the over, I think. That's the word coming from the umpires. But uh, the rain coming down as hard as it is, it gets very slippery out there very quickly. On a very hard surface. You can pick up the thunder. That's almost uh, overhead now. And... Uh, with thunder and lightning about, you've got to be uh, wary of player safety as well. And uh, maybe Shepard, I think, wants to get off. This is re well, it's silly really because uh, it's not going to just stop raining in the next couple of minutes. It's only going to get heavier. They're off, I think. Well. Steve Buckner says it's easing off. If that was the case, the ground staff will be sitting down. This is something uh, that is strange. One really wonders whether the pitch itself might get affected. And, uh, there you are, that's what's happening in the background. It's strange to say that that would be uh, easing off. Of hesitation. The ball will start to get slippery. Fielders will start to uh, stumble and fall, but uh, they're carrying on. It's 28 for one. Oh, that's brilliant. That's uh, the shot of the tournament for me, let alone the shot of the day. Well, that's a great shot that skimmed away on this uh, slippery outfield. That's uh, going like a bullet. Tell me whether that's uh, Sewag or Tendulkar. I'll tell you it's Sewag, but it could quite easily have been Tendulkar. That is brilliant. Up and over. Six. And Chaminda Vas is saying... Uh, I can't stand up and I can't hold the ball. Well, that is understandable, and you could see that the players themselves, the batsmen, the fielders, all wanting to get away in a hurry. But that was a wonderful shot. It's never easy. It was short, wide. Chamitha was really couldn't um, have much control on that. But you could see the downfall really coming. Sewag so took four off Vass before this and then uh, sliced and uppercut that away for six over backward point monstrous hit this really is uh, something like Sant Jasuria right handed that's the type of shot that Jasuria usually plays and here you are this is Sewag that's bludgeoned away
the uh, I suppose the good news at the moment is that so when they went off yesterday uh, the rain absolutely hammered down it flooded the ground in half an hour at the moment it is raining but it is not uh, too bad now I dare say if we have half an hour of this then uh, there will be some more play later on in the evening what we don't want is a downpour of the proportions that we had yesterday evening of course there was no result here tonight so the trophy will be shared between Sri Lanka and India and the spoils will be shared as well each side will receive a check for hundred and fifty thousand dollars the Champions Trophy shared between India and Sri Lanka. Very disappointing that on the second day, this was the reserve day, remember, the rains put pay to any action and India could only manage 38 for one from 8.4 overs. Dinesh Monge, the man to go, Sewag 25 not out. And Vaas and Fernando, the only bowlers used. Chiminda Vaas picking up that one wicket. So very disappointing for everyone. That was the summary of the ICC Champions Trophy final. Sri Lanka 222 for 7, India 38 for 1. No result. And that was the end of the Champions Trophy.